So welcome back to our lockdown diary at Wadston. Uh, here we are in the tower drawing room. My name is Pippa Shirley. I'm head of collections and gardens here. And I'm now going to introduce you to one of my colleagues, one of the small team who um, is still working here at Wadston, taking care of the collections. So this is Matthew, Matthew Waters, who's our deputy steward. Hello, Matthew. Hello. <laughs> um, and Matthew, when he's not checking for insects and monitoring the environment and doing all of the other um, checks that we need to have done, um, does a range of other tasks. And so today he is doing some book numbering. So Matthew, do you just want to explain what it is that you're doing? Um, so currently we're writing the inventory numbers in the backs of each of the books in the tower drawing room. Each um, object in the collection has a unique um, inventory number and it's best practice to, to label them. So in this case, this is a small book from 1855, um, an address given by Prince Napoleon. And so I'm just writing the unique um, inventory number in the back using pencil. And that way, in the future, if um, a mistake was made or if it had to be reversed, we could easily move it again. And then I'm using a soft tape measure to take um, measurements of the book. And that just helps us expand our um, information that we have on each book and in terms of dimensions as well. So all of this information that, that Matthew is collating gets recorded on our uh, on our collections management database um, and that we use both for our, uh, the management of the collections obviously but we can also uh, use it for labels and interpretation and giving information to the public. Um, and I think the other thing which is very useful about this process is that it also obviously allows um, Matthew just to check the physical condition of the book and so if for example you know he spots mould or something of that sort then we know that we have to deal with it and get on top of it quickly so it's a really valuable and essential process and I just want to thank Matthew for allowing me to film him I'm properly socially distanced I assure you, thank you. Um, and we're incredibly grateful to all of our conservation teams this very small team that's, that's still coming in for continuing to do this really important work anyway thank you very much